So, hey, new camera, well chuffed. Um, I thought while I was giving this week's update, I would do a wee bit of skincare and stuff like that. So that's why I have no glasses on and I'm a bit blind. Um, but there's been some funny stuff has happened, some creepy stuff, some nightmare fuel and whatnot. Um, the first thing was, it uh, doesn't look like I'm going to get out anywhere this week. I was hoping to be able to get out... Um, you know because it's the jubilee so it's like a bank holiday thursday friday it's like a long weekend basically um but the weather isn't great and i would actually plan to go up and see my brother sister-in-law my niece and nephew and um my nephew has the cold so obviously i can't go now um which is crappy i was like really looking forward to getting up but I have to avoid all kinds of any type of illness because my immune system is so low. Um, right, first thing that I'm using here is the Ulla Henriksen eye cream. Um, I'll just give a wee mention to the stuff that I'm using while I'm doing it. Um, but yes, so one thing that, well there's a couple of things. The first thing is a bit weird, the second thing is nightmare fuel and then the last thing I can't actually remember right now. Um, as I'm saying this, but I'm sure I'll get there eventually. Um, my daughter had must have walked past a hedge or something um, on her way home and she had her school bag with her and she must have got like a spider egg sack or something on her bed or it on her bed, what am I talking about, on her um, bag. So whenever she came into the house she threw her um, school bag down under her bed and the egg sack exploded basically um, and she looked at her bed and she thought why is this moving until she actually clocked the fact that there were hundreds if maybe like thousands of baby spiders running all over her bed um, so obviously she totally freaked out like anyone would freak out it doesn't matter whether you like spiders or are scared of them um, you will freak out, you know what I mean? That many of them on one place. So she obviously went and got Chris and he run in, grabbed her duvet, took it downstairs, shook it outside. And she's like, I can't sleep in there anymore. <laughs> it's like, just burn the house down now. Um, second thing is the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. Um, So yeah, that happened there, lover. Um, and freaked her right out. And then the other thing was that happened, um, Chris had went downstairs, it was last thing at night, um, to make a drink of juice for me. You guys are well familiar with my big giant um, army green insulated cup. Well since, okay, um, well since I had my operation, I haven't got the power in my arm to, um, to carry that whenever it's full because it holds so much liquid. So he had went down just before bed um, to obviously get this filled up for me. I'm sorry, my brain's all over the place today. I can barely get sentences out. He had went down anyway to fill my juice up for me before bed. Um, and whenever he went down, he went into the kitchen and there was a mouse there. So uh, we had a mouse in the house. So um, I'll insert a video clip now and um, basically all around where we live is all fields all like the front of our house is all fields there's a river that runs along and um, the bottom of our back garden it's basically all countryside round here so and we have lived here I think like six years now and in that six years that is the first mouse that we have seen well we've seen a dead one outside um, but that's the first mouse that we've seen so I couldn't sleep that night at all because it wasn't because I'm frightened of mice. I love mice. I love anything like that. I'm just a big, big, like, animal lover. I couldn't sleep all night thinking that the mouse could get under the kitchen door and the cat would get it and kill it. So I was like, we blocked, we closed the kitchen door, we blocked it all up. Because you know how mice, basically, they can flatten themselves down into a tiny size to get through the smallest of spaces. Um, I flattened it all down. Or I flat. What am I talking about? We blocked it all up to make sure that I couldn't get in because I was just terrified of our cat getting it and like torturing it all night. Um, whenever he went into the kitchen, he said it just runs straight up the side of the washing machine and into the back of where 
you know, the back of where the cupboards and stuff would be, not into the cupboards, but the back. Um, so he couldn't even get in to get it. Um, there's a hole in our wall um, in one of the corners from, it must have been the people who lived here before, the like ghettoed trying to run electricity into the shed. Obviously to put a tumble dryer and washing machine and stuff out, but they, you know, like didn't do a property. They just like literally used an extension lead and knocked a hole in the wall. So that's never like been patched up or anything. So I think that's where it got in. Um, but as I say, it's like the first one that we have ever seen here. Um, so I'm not worried about it. I don't like, obviously the cat didn't get it because we would have seen bits of it around the house. Um, but yeah, so that happened. Um, I posted on Twitter, um, I think... Yeah, it would have been the end of last week that I bought this. This is the Tatcha G skin cream. Tatcha have just came to um, Space MK in the UK and they also have a UK website now. So I would wanted to try this um, moisturiser for ages. So I'm going to put it on now and I'll give you like my thoughts and stuff because a few of you had been asking. Um, it comes with like a wee spatula in the, in the top of it. So it's like a wee bow, which is good because all my skincare, I have this wee bad boy. It's like a metal stainless steel spatula. I always use that for my skincare, always have. It's not a cancer thing. I just don't like contaminating anything that you would put your fingers into with germs. So, um, take about, oh, that's a wee bit too much. Take about this much, which is not that much. I love this stuff so far. Um, it's like a really thick kind of gel, gel cream, I suppose you would call it. Um, but it sinks in really, really well. It's really, really moisturising and it feels really nice to use. And those are all things that I look for, obviously, whenever texture is a big thing to me, whenever um, anything to do with skincare. Um, so I have been using this and I really, really like it. Um, it smells lovely as well. Um, I don't, I'm not overly sensitive. Um, so fragrance and skincare doesn't really annoy me, but it smells nice and fresh. Um, but yeah, I needed to do this anyway today, so that's why I thought I would just sit and do it now while I'm talking to you guys. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Yeah, I've been like pretty sore. Um, I've had a lot of pain and stuff um, in my left hip. So... Um, Everything really hurts, but I've noticed like a like a whole lot of pain centered around my hip. Um, it's not, and I don't think it's anything cancer related because, as I say, whenever like I got diagnosed, I went for MRI, CTs, they checked everything, and I've been having pain in this hip from before. I think it's more um, if I, I'm sitting in one position for too long, it just it triggers it. Um, I started getting a lot of lower back pain as well, but that was at the start of the pandemic, and I think it was because because no one could go out or do anything. As a family, we were constantly sitting down in our living room on the sofas, watching movies and shows together. And it was I think it was because it was constantly sitting in the one place, it just triggered my back. Um, the hip pain sort of started around the same time. So I don't think that it's anything sinister. I think it's just, just aging. Um, last thing to finish off skincare, I also bought um, the Tatcha G Skin Mist, which is, I've seen people use this as like a like a setting spray and stuff. It's not meant as a setting spray. It's spray on moisturizer. So whenever you're going through chemo, it can dry your skin out um, quite a bit. I've noticed my skin's way drier than it ever was. I was pretty lucky to have normal skin. I had oily skin, but I trained it to be norm normal by using oils and stuff like that on it. Um, so words come to me look you all understand i have i'm going through treatment here my brain's not what it normally is um yeah so i just finish off with a wee spray of moisturizer there we go yeah it's not an actual setting spray i'm sure you can use it on top of makeup and stuff but yes that was the point it was making the treatment and stuff can dry your skin out and um my skin has been drier than normal Whenever I said I had oily skin but I trained it to be normal, the thing if you have oily skin and you're wanting to train it to be normal is use oil. Um, your skin is oily because it is dehydrated more than likely so it starts overproducing oil 
once you start using an actual oil in your face, it sends a, your skin sends a signal saying, oh, well, I have enough oil here. I don't need to produce more. And it does soak in. Um, whenever you start using it, it is a bit like pouring um, water onto parched earth. You know how it's almost waterproof looking? It'll just sit on top. That's how your oil will be. It'll sit on your skin um, until your skin starts to absorb it and get more moisturised. Because moisturised so moisturised soil, <laughs> damp soil absorbs water an awful lot easier than dry soil does. So you have to just get the balance. Um, so there we go. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that's happened. I was really hoping to get out for like a walk and stuff and go and film some like some countryside around, well, countryside around here. Um, as soon as I'm well enough, we're on the countdown now and I'm starting to get really, really antsy. But as soon as I'm well enough, I'll be able to take you guys with me into town whenever I go shopping and stuff like that. Um, we will be going to Dublin at some point as well. Um, so I'll be able to take you guys down there with me. Um, I also live right beside Stormont, um, which is our parliament buildings in Northern Ireland. Um, I can maybe take you for a wee walk over there and let you see what it looks like too. Um, but yeah, I'm just at the minute, I'm starting to like take loads of like wee ideas and notes of videos that I want to do. I've seen your suggestions and don't worry, I've got them written down. Um, let me put my glasses back on. Yeah. There we go. Um, I'm trying to get everything planned out that I want to do. The end is so close in sight. And I know that like I'm not constantly sick. Like if a couple of weeks of being sick after chemo, then I start to pick up. But I'm having to shield the entire time just because I you can't trust the public at large to, you know, not give you the bovid um, or any other diseases that are knocking about. So I have been shielding. So I'm just, Wednesday is my last chemo. Then I have radiation, but my immune system should start picking up. And I hope it doesn't take too long because I can't wait to get back to life as normal. It's, it feels like I haven't really had a normal life for about three years now because right off the back of the pandemic came cancer and having to shield and everything. So it just feels like I haven't had a chance to do anything in years and now I can't wait. I actually can't wait. Um, I ordered last night. I can't remember the name of the company. Hold on. I don't even know where my phone is. I'll like, I'll link the company down below. It's not sponsored or anything like that. They don't know who I am. But there is like a wine subscription service. And you put in like your flavor profile and what, you know, what kind of things that you like sort of flavor wise and stuff. And then they, you can choose a price range per bottle and then how many bottles you would like. And then they will send that out to you. Um, so I done that last night as like a present to myself for my birthday to have, obviously once I have um, my immune system back up. Um, so I've got like a bottle of red, two bottles of rosé and a bottle of Prosecco coming, which I can't wait for. Um, so like that's one thing that I can't wait to have. I think it's because it's summertime. I've never really been like a big drinker or anything like that. But see whenever the weather's nice outside, not that it is today, but we have had a nice day here and there. Um, I bought, as I told you guys before, I bought us um, sun loungers, like recliners for the back garden. I can't wait sit out there in the sun with a glass of wine and just relax because these are things that I can't do right now. I can't drink alcohol. I know that whenever um, I get my immune system back I can't really be drinking alcohol anyway. It's not really advised if you've had cancer. Um, mm. But I'm allowing myself to celebrate. I have a birthday to celebrate and I also have the end of treatment to celebrate and then I'll not be probably drinking again. Even if I was to drink the way that I used to drink, it would maybe be two, three times a year max. But I'll not be doing that. It'll maybe be once a year. If at all, I might just have this next drink and then that be, that'll be the end of it. But I thought I would order those wines anyway. I'd heard so many good reports from people who had actually used that service. Um, Whenever they got their wine, they were like, it was amazing. It's exactly the kind of stuff that I like. So, fingers crossed that it's it's nice. Um, but yeah, 
I was meant to, like, again, I thought I was going to be able to get out and stuff. Hopefully, well, fingers crossed, the weather actually might be quite nice tomorrow. If it is, the weather forecast says it's abysmal. But um, if it is nice tomorrow, I will take you guys with me on a wee walk because I need out of this house before I lose my damn mind. Um, but yeah. I think that's it hopefully I'll have something to tell you tomorrow if not this is the end of the vlog <laughs> but I'm hoping even if I've nothing to report tomorrow or if I can't get back it I'll still record a wee message and tie things up for the week but anyway that's today's update take care so I thought I would just finish up the this week's vlog on like my old setup so that you guys can see like um the difference between using my new camera with the new mic and stuff like that that I got for the camera compared to how I used to film which is sitting here um with a webcam and then a streaming mic um this week this upcoming week's vlog will have quite a lot in it so tomorrow which is Monday um I'm going for my consultation for my radiation so I'll be able to fill you guys guys in on that on Wednesday I have my last chemo which I'm planning on filming. I'll not be able to take you guys into the hospital with me. Um they just they don't allow you to film, but I'll be able to film whenever I get there outside and then whenever I come out after I've had it. And then Thursday's my birthday. Um so there's quite a lot of stuff going on this week, so I'll have quite a bit of stuff to share with you. Um but that's it really for this guys or this week guys. I just wanted to come on and Thank yous for being here and watching and to ask that you like, comment, subscribe and um, turn on the notification bell, all the YouTube stuff really. Um, I wasn't too sure whether I was going to get another update in whenever I filmed the last one or not Um, but I just thought that it would come on quickly, give you a side by side comparison on how the two different um ways of filming look and then tell you what's upcoming for this coming week. Um, some of it may be in bed obviously whenever I've had um, my chemo and stuff like that because I know that you know at this stage I do feel quite rough but I'll be able to film it on like an actual decent camera instead of sitting with my phone with hostage cam because it's so zoomed in no matter how far away I hold my arm Um, so there's all that to look forward to Um, I hope you guys had a good week let me know if he's got up to anything this week that was that was fun or anything out of the ordinary and tell me if you've got anything planned for next week too um but that's about it i think for this week um but i'll catch you guys on sunday thank you all so much for being here you know i love you all individually we've built a really good community here and oh no hold on before i go before i go i've been like i have to it's under the desk i have been stocking up on things that i haven't been able to um to eat because of chemo and treatment and how it messes your insides up that I obviously explained in like the last update that um I'd ordered some wine in preparation for whenever like I'm well again and outside treatment but I also got some snacks so hold hold please oh these are my some of my favorite things I'm trying to pull this up from under the desk firstly Cheetos mac and cheese jalapeno flavor now this is, uh, I I make my own mac and cheese and it's so much nicer, but this stuff is tasty and it's really, really quick. It's jalapeno on it, so I haven't been able to go anywhere near it because tomato is spicy to me these days. Um, so I got some of this and um, then I got my favourite crisps of all time. Hers jalapeno cheese poppers. These things are unbelievable. Um... They're an American import, so they're quite hard to find in the UK. Where I get all my nice um snacks and stuff from is a website called A Taste of the States. It does lots of American imports, but also imports from all around the world. And it isn't like one of those um overpriced places. There is like an American import sort of sweet chain like storefronts that you can go into here in the UK and they overprice their stuff to death this stuff is basically the same price as you know like a normal bag of this size would cost you um so they don't like charge a stupid amount again I have no affiliation or contact with the taste of the states it's just where I personally order from so I have these 
these are amazing they are so unbelievably tasty and then i got tgi friday's potato skins jalapeno and cheddar i have always like been really big into like spicy stuff i love it um whenever my stomach condition started kicking off i had to like avoid all spice like the plague then i sort of got that under control and now i can have spice but um where my stomach is concerned i know whenever it's safe to have spicy stuff if it's starting to get a bit sore i just avoid it at all costs but um again with like chemo and everything like that tomato is spicy i haven't been able to have anything with tomato because i think it's the acid it just feels like i'm drinking acid it just burns the entire way down so like anything spicy has been an absolute no-go so i've just I'm like, I'm starting to get excited that I can have things that I like to eat again and I can have alcohol. I can have a glass of wine coming soon. It's just a very exciting time. <laughs> right. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. I just forgot to mention that, that the, the actual prep is real. Um, But anyway, guys, until next week, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. You mean the absolute world to me and I will catch you guys next Sunday. Same time. 6pm BST. Be there or be square. Bye.